Hi guys, I wanted to have a quick look at different compression types. It's something that people often ask about and you see written down all the time. You know, somebody uses this style of compressor for this vocals. I wanted to give you a look at a couple of the main different types. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is a FET style compressor. I think the 1176 is the type of compressor that everyone thinks of when you say FET. This is an emulation of it, the uh, Logic one. I've got uh, an 1176 down here, but the software is of course much easier to show you. Uh, the other type of compression I want to show you is Opto and VCA. I've, again, I've got a Opto compressor here and a VCA compressor here, which is a SSL style compressor. So uh, let's look at those different compression sounds and see how they they really change the way the, the compression behaves. and and ultimately the sort of the character that you can get out of them. Uh, to start off with, I really like to hit my ratio at around about four to one because this is the kind of default minimum threshold, minimum ratio for this style of compressor. And from the actual original specs, they generally have an incredibly fast attack, you know, down to, you know, microseconds. And then even on the slowest setting, they're still actually in the millisecond range, uh, about two milliseconds. So it's actually pretty fast attack no matter what you do. So the thing that makes this compressor cool for me is the really quick release and how it really smashes things and gives it just a character that just almost nothing else has. It almost sort of breaks up a little bit, which is one of the really cool things. So what we're gonna do is, is be a little bit more extreme so you can really hear the differences in sound. So I'm gonna go uh, quite a quick attack and quite a quick release again so you can really hear this 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 character I'm going to hit it pretty hard and therefore we're going to get quite a lot of gain reduction Okay, so note the sound, really cool. Let's change it over to a, a VCA style compressor. So this is, uh, at least to my eyes, really mimicking a SSL style compressor. So keeping everything else the same, uh, let's see how that sounds. So to my ears, there's similarities. I think the Studio FET is a little quieter, which just makes it sound a bit different, but also it has a little bit of a grainy, grittiness to it. So it's a little bit different. I think the VCA has probably got a bit of a smoother sort of a sound. Again, rem remembering this is really heavy compression. And lastly, let's flick over to the Opto Compressor. Now the Opto Compressor, uh, the most famous of course, would be the LA-2A. So this would be uh, mimicking that kind of style. And typically what you'd expect from an Opto Compressor is a tightest sort of a compression so you'll hear a, a little smack of the drum coming through you get a nice little transient coming through and then the compressor will kind of clamp down so you'll notice that the transients will sound quite a lot different and it won't have that grunginess as it doesn't release as quick as the previous two it won't have all that ambience as much let's have a listen
Okay, comparing maybe a mon modern VCA to a vintage VCA, what you'd probably typically find is the vintage VCA may have a little extra kind of noise and distortion. So the, the studio VCA may sound a little rounder and smoother. But remember, that's not always the flavor that you may want. Lastly, the Fairchild or a tube Vermute style compressor. So what I like about this one is it has a real typical sort of opto compression style to it, but it also has a really nice saturation. So notice as I change from slow to fast, uh, you'll hear that sort of ambience coming up and quite a quick compression actually, so it really does get those transients. And as you come down to slow, it has that more traditional opto sound of the transient kind of popping out, but still some of that uh, big ambient kind of sounds coming up. And what I like about this one in particular is when it's on the slow, how it really kind of grooves with the, the music in such a, a cool way. So each of these has a different flavor and really to get the best out of them we're going to need to manipulate some of these parameters a little more and remembering that this is under very heavy compression. But uh, that's a good idea of what each type of compression is going to sound like.